In this video, I will talk about how to set up DJL. The best way to onboard with DJL is to build DJL from source. To build DJL, JDK is required. You can use any JDK version between JDK 8 and JDK 15. However, we recommend to use JDK 8 for better compatibility. You also need Git to clone DJL from GitHub. We heavily use command line in our documentations. The command line is precise and easy to follow. In this video, I'm going to show you both command line and IDE to set up your project. DJL use Gradle build system. The reason we choose Gradle instead of Maven is because it's very easy to extend. We have many customized builds logic. Using Maven would be very robust. And Gradle has excellent incremental build support. Build time with Gradle is much shorter compared to Maven. We use Gradle wrapper in our project. You don't need to install Gradle in your head. And we don't recommend to use your own installed version of Gradle, since your version may not match our build script. You can just run Gradle W from command line. It will download Gradle into cache folder for the first time use. The very first time to build the gel may take more than 10 minutes. The build time largely depends on your internet speed because we download dependencies and model files during the build. Those files will be cached. The later build will be much faster. You can use Gradle build to do a full build. You can see here in the command line in the, in the presentation, we have gradle.build. It includes unit test and all DGL static code analysis tools like find bugs, check style, etc. If you only want to compile the code, you can simply run Gradle jar. It's much faster. Most Java developer using IDE for development. You can import DGL into your favorite IDE, such as IntelliJ or Eclipse. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import DJL into IntelliJ. If you don't have DJL repository already checked out, the easiest way to set up IntelliJ project is directly get from VCS. You can click the from VCS button and put the URL inside it. And then you choose clone. If you already have DJL cloned in your local disk, you can directly open it. Navigate to the repository folder. Here is just a DJL folder which you clone. And you should be able to see a build.gradle file in this folder. Select the build.gradle and say open. Choose open as a project. Now you have DJL project imported. It'll take a few minutes to indexing the Gradle project. You can see that it's indexing here. Once it's finished the index, you can see here the sub modules are all highlighted here. So in each sub module, there are readme, you can see what the, each module uses for. Let's run some examples. Here in the examples project, you have main and uh, let's go with object detection. So you will see the triangle here means you can run this project. So click the run button and choose run object detection main. 
So there is some glitch with uh, the Gradle integration with uh, IntelliJ. By default, the working directory was set to the root project. So you will see something uh, fail to read the image in this except, uh, the project. You might need to click on the project and edit the configuration. And you change the, the working directory to the direct example directory. So you need to select examples project. And then, okay, then now you run it again. You see the proper output here. On DJL documentation website, you can find all DJL packages that published on Maven Central. You can click on the group ID. So this link to the Maven Central. And if you click on the latest version, and you can also find earlier released version as well. Now you can create your own project. DJL is just a set of regular Java libraries. You can just import DJL jar files into your existing or newly created Java project as Euro. You can choose whatever build system you want and open it in any IDE of your choice. If you want to create empty project in command line, you can just follow the command I list here. To better manage dependencies between DGL packages, we recommend you to use DGL Bill of Materials, BOM. A BOM package is a pub only jar file that is used to control the version of a project's dependencies and provide a central place to define and update all the versions altogether. If you want to know what packages work together, you can go to the Sonotype webpage, open the BOM package, and look at the POM file. In the POM file, you can find all the DGL packages that are compatible with each other in this file. Now let's take a look how we can use DGL spawn. Using BOM in Gradle is pretty simple. What you need to do is add DGL BOM package as a dependency, and you make sure add the platform modifier to it. Once you add DGL BOM to the dependency, the rest of DGL package, you don't need to specify version. Using BOM in Maven is also simple. What you need to do is declare dependency management section. Make sure you add type and the scope properly. Once you declare the dependency management section, you don't need add version to DGL packages anymore. Sometimes you may want to access unreleased DGL features. In this case, you can choose to use DGL snapshot version. We publish snapshot jars to Maven Central nightly. What you need to do is define the repository with sonotype snapshot URL. Once you define the URL, you can access snapshot version as Euro. Here is a list of the documentations might be useful for you. Please visit our docs.djl.ai to find them out. Thank you for watching.